No, no, no. Edit this out. <laughs> Watch. He's gonna keep this in this video. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another video and another adventure. We're back out at the river and we're gonna get some gold today. Um, but I got an exciting announcement. We just hit 25,000 subscribers, so that's pretty awesome. I'm actually impressed how fast the channel is growing. It's only been like five months and we're already um, at 25,000 and we're still going up. Also, we just got our first Patreon, so thank you to Rocky Jones for that. Um, you'll be actually getting a pay dirt. I'm going to be sending you, so make sure you email me. My email's right here. And then um, if you guys are interested in collabing or anything, I'm going to leave my Instagram right here as well and my email. So you guys could contact either of those and send me a day that you can go out panning with me. We could collab. Or if you just want to go out gold panning. So because we just reached 25,000 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away a half a gram pay dirt um, all you have to do to enter is comment like subscribe and share um, and then I'll be choosing someone random in the comments and in a week I will announce the winner and all you'll have to do is just let me know your address and I'll send that over to you so I'm excited and thank you guys so much for 25,000 subscribers all right guys we made it out to the river we got a cord out here right there um, and then if you guys are interested in following him I will uh, post his um, YouTube and his stuff, but we're back at the spot and we're going to try to get some more gold by sniping and he's actually an expert. I'm I'm joking around, but he's actually been sniping. No, he's not joking. Exactly. He's, he's been sniping for way longer than I have been gold panning and probably alive. So he's going to show me a thing or two on how to find gold so we're gonna have a little friendly competition we're gonna see if the beginner or the expert can get more gold so if you guys want to follow for that um i'll post the results at the end we'll show each other's pans and see what we found <laughs> all right so i got all my gear on got all my gear Cord's over there finding his spot. And I'm going to go back to my spot that I originally started in the day three video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep working my spot. And he's going to show me, if he starts finding good gold, he's going to show me what he finds and how he finds it. Um, just because he's probably got way more experience. So I told him, like, I'm I'm all open to learning new stuff. So. I'm no expert in sniping. This is my fourth day actually sniping and possibly finding gold with it. I've tried like five, six times. So he just swam across. I'm I'm kind of a wimp. I got to walk across because I don't want to get fully wet yet. Just a wimp like that. I'm going to risk over here slipping, sliding. Oh, should I send it? Very slippery. Oh. <laughs> I want to send it to that rock, but this is so slippery. Oh, maybe if I get it from here. No, no, no. <laughs> Edit this out. <laughs> Watch. He's going to keep this in this video. I'll just cross here. I already know this water is going to be colder than before. Oh, yeah. Much colder. The sun hasn't even come out yet, so we made it to the spot. So it looks like the water's kind of, the hole is still here. Um, this is, I'll set my stuff down. Just kind of put my, hopefully that don't float away. Put my mask on and kind of give it a look.
my guys. So I got a lot of rocks moved and I'm starting to find really good gold on this bend right here. And I'm starting to find a lot of pieces of metal. So the goal here is I'm gonna put you guys on my helmet and I'm gonna start showing you. I'm starting to find nice amount. So hopefully you guys can see it. The sun still has not hit us. We came here a little early and I'm getting a little chilly, but um, I'm still able to see the gold, just not as well as I'd like. I'm still getting used to figuring out what's gold and what's not, but yeah, let's get you on my mask and I'll start picking up that gold. I'm already finding some right here. I already found a bunch. So basically, like, I noticed, like, where it starts to go down for me is where I start finding really heavy clay that's just full of it. Like, right? See how this kind of starts? Clay layers out here, this is a lot different. Usually, I'm working Bud Rock Frack. Yeah, I, I haven't had any luck with those. I've been working this clay layer in here. It is loaded with gold, like for me, for me. Yeah. So like right there is that pool that I bet if you go check it, there's still gold down there. Like my my pool right there. I might go check it because it's probably replenished a little bit, but right right here I'm moving all this clay down towards you. There's a there's a lot of gold. Hey, there's also one over oh. there. Um, like a whole crack that's loaded with rocks. I, I haven't yeah. moved. I'll check that out. Home. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys, so the sun's starting to finally come out. Cord is still over there in the shade working. He said he found a few pieces. I'm still finding some, but I had to take a break. I'm working this right here. Um, I really want to work this really deep area, but it's just too deep and too much water moving, and I don't think I could get down there without like a breathing apparatus or something. But I know there's gold probably down here if I move some of these like bigger rocks. There's lots of fish right here. All right, check out what Cord found. There's a nice one right there. A nice, like, BB-sized one, a little bigger than that. Probably got some weight to it. So, I think it's probably found, that one piece probably weighs more than all my gold combined. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. I'm still chasing that, um, that clay layer, but he's over there working the uh, crack. So, that's probably the better bet. But, I'll have to go see uh, he's doing it. Look at all this metal I pulled out out of this one spot. There's just all this metal stuck right here in that clay layer. So I'm going to keep working and see if I see any more. So, 
I'm realizing all this water is so foggy, and I'm like, I wonder why this water is so dirty. And if you follow it up, I think Cord's going to town over there on a hole. So we're going to go check, see what he's up to. Oh, try not to fall in the process. I bet there's some gold in this stuff too. Yeah, look how dirty this water is over here. It's all murky. Look how murky this water is. Yeah, he's going to town in the clay over there. Look at this, you just fall away. It gets dirtier and dirtier and dirtier. Look at this. Horton is really going to town. Look at him go. Found some clay. <laughs> They're going to town. A lot of clay down here, man. Dude, I, that, I was that like, deep on the bottom is all the clay. Dude, I was like, why is the water so foggy? I'm like, I'm not. <laughs> and then I like kept falling and kept getting thicker and thicker. And then I'm like, dude. I found this hole that's super interesting. I found some really weird stuff in it. Uh, hold on. There's, there's definitely gold in there. I don't know if you guys can hear me, but this is an interesting find. I found a penny and a button. The penny's too old to read the date on it, but it looks pretty old and rusted. And then there's a button from like old Levi jeans or something. And there's more stuff down there. So I'm gonna see if you guys can see or not. Not sure if you will be able to or not, but there's definitely some gold and stuff that I could get out of this hole. guys we're gonna take a little bit of a break and we're gonna get this um my snuffer and his snuffer in a pan and see how both of us did so far we're only about halfway done but see let's get a big pan out oh you got a little pan so all right moment of truth here get this thing i got some interesting stuff too i found some copper so, I'm going to have to pan this out. All right. So, you can go ahead and pan this out a little bit. Hopefully, not lose too much gold. Not the best at panning. But, yeah.
Wow man I really like this piece of gold. Yes that one is nice but these are better. This piece is the best though wow look at the shine. As I always say bigger is not always better. Wow you're right all gold matters despite its size. Now let's get back into the video and do some more prospecting. Well guys, I think I did it. I found another spot with a bunch of gold. So this is the other spot I was working right here. And I was like, what about where the water comes in? And I started digging down and it is loaded. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. Cause it's so bubbly, but watch this. So there's definitely some good gold down in here. Finding real chunky gold and some, a lot of like um, copper and metal and a little bit of um, uh, some other stuff. But yeah, so we're gonna keep going. I'm gonna turn off the camera to save battery and then I'm gonna keep digging out that hole. It just keeps going down and down. So what I'm gonna do is go grab my tools and uh, kind of crevice out that, uh, hole just because i i didn't think it was going to keep going like that and there is gold in there so it's just so shallow you can see this one's real shallow here but there is gold here um but it just drops down in there and i'm gonna dig that hole out and see what kind of gold's at the bottom all right guys so we're doing the second cleanup i didn't do so well i ended up slacking a bit and slacking. Me, yeah slacking a little bit not too good i mean better than panning but still I'm sure his will look better so let's see let's see he let's see what cord got oh, already better than my <laughs> is that another piece of um oh yeah there you go there's some chunky pieces dang Man. So were those the ones up there. there? A little shark teeth one. Looks like Mickey Mouse. <laughs> like out of there. That is a chunky one. Yeah. Not bad. Well, you could tell who's the pro and who's the amateur. <laughs> one eternity later. So check this out. There's all kinds of weird, like metal. Um, this is some some copper. I'm finding all kinds of little pieces of copper. Um, there is some gold down there. So, I'll show you guys. Eventually. Alright, so here's my final for the day. It's not a lot, but I don't think I did too bad. It's looking pretty good. So, 
But uh, yeah, we got some big flakes and stuff. So we'll go ahead. When I get home, I will go ahead and uh, weigh it and show you guys how much I got. And Cord over there, he probably got like two, two and a half. Um, is that is that <laughs> right there? Those white pieces is that um with lead? Lead? Okay, I was like, hope that's not. I don't know. That was called salt into the day. Yeah, so Cord did much better than me, and he got all chunky stuff. I got all flakes, so so you're gonna weigh way way more. So yeah, here we go. You guys could decide who's the winner. <coughs> Me. No, I'm joking. <laughs> all right. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, guys. So this is how much I got today sniping with cord. I got point five nine point six. So, I didn't do too bad, but we'll see how much he got. He got more, like, chunky stuff, so I believe he got more than me, but, yeah, so that's the difference between a beginner sniper and a professional sniper. Okay, here we go. Got all my gold from yesterday. Scales all teared out, so let's get away. grams. Please like, subscribe, share and comment. Thank you for watching.